Hi everybody, welcome back to Farm Boys Garage. In, a, in part two, we got this bracket built for the cooler. And today we're going to mount it. Now I did go ahead and I, I turned this compressor sideways a little bit, just to give a little more airflow on the back side. It really wasn't running that hot, but it only had like six inches of clearance from the wall. And uh, so I did have enough room to get by that shelf right there. I was kind of worried about that, but uh, we did that all right. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this uh, cooler right up here somewhere on this stud. Not too far above the compressor. I don't want to have to uh, get real high with it. And I uh, think before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and attach the hoses to it. Now what I've got for hoses, and I know i got a junky box here, but like I said, i got a, a three foot hose. These are rated for uh, 250 pounds. These are, these are air hoses, half inch diameter for air only. And I got these off Amazon. These are made by, uh, who are these made by? Tecton. And this is a six foot hose, so a three foot and a six foot. And uh, I got some half inch copper tubing. So the three foot one will be coming out for coming out the compressor going to it because I'll have my copper tubing going up. And the six foot one is go down to the uh, water separator, go through the water separator, and I'll go to copper from the water separator back to the tank. So uh, first, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get these hoses on first. I think that'd be the easiest thing. And uh, I'm gonna move you around a little right, bit. So I got these hoses cut. I'm gonna show you hurt my feelings having to cut these hoses. And these are not cheap hoses at all. Alright, so this is the uh, short one. So it's gonna go on the bottom. Boy, that thing is tight. Now this is a this is supposed to be half inch. ID and this is half inch, but this uh got to get over this. So let's uh let's put a little something on here. I think uh, I don't know what. Now let's try it without it. I don't know if I want to even put. Uh, I don't know if I really want to put any grease or anything on here. push on this cooler too hard because I ain't sure how well this thing's made to tell you the truth. It was a fairly cheap one. Alright, so I got it all the way up to this next little notch here. I'm not going to go further than that because this clamp will, you know, this is, this is a little a little wider clamp but it'll clamp right there and so I'll go ahead and do the other one off camera to be the same way and uh, then we'll mount it all right so I got it mounted and I realized after I mounted it that I should have done something prior to mounting it well prior to hooking that long hose up and that was I should have went ahead and screwed it into the uh, separator so, uh, yeah, it's going to be a little fun getting into the separator. Now, the separator is half inch. I guess I can screw the separator onto the hose. And I was hoping this separator was, had a, which y'all want to see, but uh, it's a rapid air. Now, I've seen these online on the YouTube, and... It didn't really say when I bought it that it had a manual drain, but it does. It has a manual drain on it, so it's one of the things. Uh, I paid 50-something bucks for this filter regulator here, 
and uh, and the other ones had this blue on the end of them also so I didn't realize this was a manual drain until I got it so anyway we'll uh, we'll screw it into the end hole and then we'll have to uh, come up with something from the out hole I hope I bought a adapter I think I bought an adapter hopefully I don't well actually I don't think I did so that again I'm gonna have to go get an adapter to go from half inch pipe thread to half inch flare where I can run it over to the tank so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount this one some old somewhere I can get to it and I could mount it right here and I could get to it just fine right there so that may be what I do and as you can see uh, this line is plenty long this line is going to be too long but and also it's going to be on the wrong daggum side the outs on this side the ends on this side so yeah, but it'll mount, hopefully it'll mount right there to make sure this thing's going to thread. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll thread fine. So, but i got to have an adapter to go from uh, copper over to the tank there. I always run into these issues plumbing. I, I don't know why, but... Me and plumbing just uh, just don't get along. And since this hose is so long, I'm gonna go ahead and, and take it off up there at the top, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and thread it onto this onto this filter first, and then I'll cut it to length that I need to go to the top of this thing, and we'll come back. All right, so I got the hose ran down to the uh, other separator right here, mounted it. And mount it right there and uh, this other hose I had to put a union on but uh, I guess what I should have done and this is uh, showing how poor I plan stuff I should have took this pipe off the compressor first because this is a double flared pipe and it has double flared fittings going to the uh, going down to the tank and to the compressor so instead of flared uh, just regular flared it's got double flares and I don't have a tool that I know of unless I've got a hand tool that will double flare half inch so kind of in a bind now I can just put this pipe back on and uh, put it back. I can use it like it is, like it was. Uh, I do notice that I had to kind of route this hose in a kind of a bad spot, but I was trying to get it, keep trying to prevent it from kinking. And this thing here has got a lot of play in it. I don't really like it. I could probably try to tighten down on it some more. Uh, so, I guess what I'm going to have to do is figure out if I can get, I can go from flare to double flare, no problem. Uh, but can I get an adapter? I'm going to have to flare, I'm going to have to double flare one end. Probably the one going from here to the tank or from, yeah. I can use this one going into from the compressor. I can cut it off right here and just put a flare in it. That won't be no issue. And then I can hook it up like this. No problem. That'll work. And see, I had to use a steel pipe, black pipe, for a coupler because my local Ace Hardware does not really carry hardware much anymore. I don't know why they're still Ace because. Uh, their hardware inventory is very lacking, especially with these little brass fittings. Could find the males, but I couldn't find the females. They had one, and it was so poorly made that the center wouldn't even cut out of it. 
So I guess for now, I'm going to have to put this back on and we'll continue on. I guess it's going to be part four, trying to get this thing together. So until next time, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't.